I wrote this poem on the back of the frustration um, of what's going on with the current virus situation. There are many unanswered questions that need urgent attention. So this is kind of my processing. It may press a few buttons. It's right on the tip of my tongue. Stung, rung, hung. There's a gun. It's pointing at all our heads, wherever we go, whatever we do, we're screwed. We've lived a life free to express, free to choose. How could we lose? Well, we snoozed. We fell asleep and bleat like sheep following the cues to muse over celebrities and other crap. While those in power squirrel away to plan a coup to have their day, whatever they say stays. Puppeteers pulling strings of fronting faces and running rings and rackets to blame something they claim will maim and kill us. Unless we fear it and stay in. Well, the man who made this type of test being used for this, hands down denied that it was best to test this type of thing. They cycle it so many times it'll show us all to have the grime. Spewed out from within the cells, our toxic load. It's carried deep and wants to speak of dirty food, putrid air, poisoned water, hatred, shame, fear and blame. This whole charade is completely insane, except to those who planned it. So meditate and practice peace. I'm sure you'll have some fine release of the toxic load deep within. Then please get up and scream. Face the fear and ask yourself if you're prepared to live a life of forced medication, watching of your every move, viewpoints, purchases and access to disinformation. It's not in line with fooling the nation. I know you've likely had your foot fill full to the brim. So by all means, go back to life lived out online. It's so sublime meeting with friends and others looking for support and distraction from the lockdown.